Okay, okay, okay. Geez, you crazy, insightful, independent, neutral, third-party, nonpartisan, fact-checking organizations need to chill out with all your details and endless data information that we just can't keep up with. I mean, we get it, okay? So President Obama's done a lot for America, okay? So he's kept many of his promises that he made to the people in less than one term, despite all the years of nonstop, hypocritical, rich 1% GOP Congress obstructionism, okay? So he's proven to us how strong of a warrior he is for the middle class, what with all the job creation, giving tax breaks to 95% of Americans, like he said he would, saving the lives of sick people, old people, and children everywhere, and yes, he even smooth-talked all the other nations into siding with Israel when they were tall talking about dropping Israel like a bad habit. Okay, we get it. Obama saving the world at home, preventing future wars, and leading other nations to do the right thing, and now he's the people's champ and a social hero who will probably go down in history as the greatest leader of all time. Big deal! All you chatty media pundits out there with all your questions and opinions, you still haven't focused on the one thing that trumps everything Obama has accomplished for America. The one thing that upstages all his achievements for our nation and blows all his other presidential success right out of the water. The one thing that will always be beating like a deep primal tribal bass drum beat in the backs of all our minds every second of every day. Whenever we think of President Obama, that thing of course is... That Obama got Osama, OMG, duh, winning. <laughs> Seriously, I want you to think about this. This is a very, very deep and profound thought. Ding dong, the witch is dead, witch, old oh, witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Hi ho. Okay, but seriously though, the hide and go seek champion, out seas. Okay, this is a big deal. Okay, and we're still kind of enjoying that feeling. It hasn't left us yet. At least I know it hasn't left me and not everybody I know, okay? It is awesome. And just as the top military leaders and experts said, President Obama had a tough, risky executive decision to make, and he made the right call. So like a masterful chess player, he checkmated Osama's dirty twin tower toppling tush right into the ocean to swim with the fishes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I know what I mean. I know what I'm saying. But anyway, Besides all that, he did, in the end, know how to pick up that 3 a.m. phone call. Okay, all right. But because all you mainstream media folk have not given enough focus and remembrance to this very important issue that means more to us than you will ever know, I have decided to sing and dedicate a whole song to it. If you know it, sing along. <laughs> you don't know it. Okay. So Obama created more jobs in one year than Bush did and ate with a great stimulus here. Obama got higher pay for women and it's clear. He even gave breaks to small businesses near. But so what? You can choose him cause he got our family's health care. You can choose him cause he pulled the troops out of there. You can choose him cause he saved our economy. But on election day we'll all be thinking one thing we're gonna vote for. For the guy who got a summer, vote for the guy who saved your kids and mama, vote for the guy who got a summer. His name is Prezi Desi Busy B Obama. Yeah, vote for Obama because he got a summer. Yes, he did. So Obama is loyal to his wife, church, he takes his family, keeps his word to his kids and America with honesty. Got child protection, student loans, education for you and me. Destroyed Al-Qaeda and their pals fight hard for our country. But so what? You can choose him cause he got our family's health care. You can choose him cause he pulled the troops out of there. You can choose him cause he saved our economy. But on election day we'll all be thinking one thing we're gonna vote for the guy who got a summer vote for the guy who saved your kids and mama vote for the guy who got a summer his name is Prezi Desi Busy B Obama yeah vote for Obama cause he got a summer yeah yes he did now <clears throat> mm -hmm, it's time <laughs> 
GOP and Fox News, all you do is lie, lie, lie. Like in sync, we the people are telling you to buy, buy, buy. You waste all your money on trying to get the president to die, die, die. Instead of giving us solutions of cooperation, you just whine, whine, whine. Bush said he'd get Osama, but all he got was high, high, high. Bush killed our economy and let you blame the black guy, guy, guy. GOP Congress only fights Obama, you try, try, try. But beer drunk brainer on election days when you're gonna cry, cry, cry. You beers had years to redeem your lazy, gritty sin, sin, sin. But you steal our food, give it to rich dudes, and kick our shin, shin. Shins. You betray us more by forcing your insane clown posse in, in, in. You've proven you hate God and country, so the ice you're on a thin, thin, thin. You fought around like nuts as Obama kicks butts like a friend, friend, friend. Terrorists, he be killing, rich thieves, he be billing, middle class, he uplifted with a grin, grin, grin. So GOP, you can't fool all the people all the time with your spin, spin, spin. November 6, 2012, we're gonna vote swell for Obama, the one who stopped Osama, to win, win, win. Yeah! Baby, we're gonna vote for Obama. He caught him, he caught him. Vote for Obama. He fought him, he fought him. Vote for Obama. He got him, he got him. He sent the Navy SEAL 6 to handle that bitch. Yeah, Obama had our backs. Now it's time we had his. We're gonna vote for him so the people will win. Win. We really mean this. We're gonna vote for the guy who got Osama. Vote for the guy who saved your kids and mama. Vote for the guy who got Osama. His name is President Desi Busy B. Obama. Vote for the guy who got Osama. Vote for the guy who saved your kids and mama. Vote for the guy who got Osama. His name is President Desi Busy B. Obama. Vote for the guy who got Osama. Vote for the guy who saved your kids and mama. Vote for the guy who got Osama. His name is Prezi Desi Busy B. Obama. Yeah. We're gonna vote for the man who saved our land. Woo! Cause yeah, yes we can. Oh yeah, yes we can. I'm a socially conservative independent and I approve this message. <laughs> okay, now, forget Fox News, everybody, and get your facts straight at neutral, independent, third-party, nonpartisan fact-checking websites like, get your pen and paper out, I'll wait. <clears throat> okay, just type it. All right, www.factcheck.org and www.politifact.com. Again, that's www.factcheck.org and www.politifact.com. Sign the petition to stop voter suppression at www.dscc.org. The GOP is trying to suppress all voters and any demographics that ordinarily would support Obama. Um, so, you know, minorities, young people, uh, anybody who's not a rich, old white man, basically. Um, so that means, you know, everybody but, but them. Um, <laughs> so everybody but Mitt Romney, basically. Um, <laughs> Um, they're trying to block uh, everybody from voting uh, for Obama by saying that you need this idea or you need that idea. You have to have this or that in order to vote. So you have to make sure you have everything you need to uh, to vote. Um, make sure that you go to that website. It's www.dscc.org. Um, and make sure that you do your best to find out that you have everything that you need in your particular area of the United States of America in order to vote. Um, because they might have changed the laws on you at the last minute. Because... You know, if you have a Republican governor, they probably did. So check that out. All right, get your friends and family registered to vote at www.rockthevote.com. We know that, well, young people, we know what that is. Rockthevote.com. If you want to be able to register people to vote and you live in Florida especially, I don't know how this applies to other places, but I know at least in Florida. Now, thanks to our criminal governor, Rick Scott, you have to go through a new certification class now in order to uh, register people to vote. Um, so now that's not even an American thing anymore. We have to go to classes for it now. So you have to uh, go to www. Well, you don't have to do it here, but I'm suggesting you go to www.barackobama.com to sign up for a certification class. Hold on, Grandma! And get your... <laughs> She's 94. Don't worry um, about her. So anyway, yeah. Go, Grandma. I love Grandma. Um, get your certification class on um, at, uh, we'll find out when they're 
doing them at BarackObama.com. If you're on Facebook, please join me in my Obama Action and Chat groups at www.facebook.com slash MissChristyLove, M-I-S-S-C-H-R-I-S-T-I-L-U-V. To all you sane, reasonable, moderate, good Republicans and independents out there, who don't know who to vote for yet, or if you to vote at all because you were so disgusted by or scared of the new GOP and everything going on, stay tuned because I will be posting a video letter exclusively to you this weekend because we need to have a talk about a few things. Just you and me. I have a talk. Okay. All right. All right. Um, to all, this song is called Vote for the Guy Who Got Osama, obviously. Written, performed, and copyrighted by me, Christy Love. Feel free to post this video everywhere and anywhere you can. Share it with the world. Um, but it is copyrighted, so... Don't try to trip tone me out. Yeah. I want to share it, but, you know, don't try to rip me off. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Whether you love it or hate it, please subscribe to it and click the like button on it at youtube.com slash user slash christylove2005 slash videos. I think it is. I don't really know if that's it, but I'm pretty sure. Now, uh, that's it. Okay, USA, USA, we got Osama, and we thank Obama. What? <laughs> Yay! Okay, all right, well, that's it. So, love you. God bless. <laughs>